Hey guys, Ben Glenn here, building success brick by brick, coming to you with 30 more helpful tips to, yes, of course, you guessed it, unlock your full potential. We're diving into volume two of the building success brick by brick book. If you don't have it, click the link below. You can get it on my website. In this video, we are diving into tip number 26. It's all about being prepared. The tip is prepare for the expected, which is smart, but also prepare for the unexpected. You just sometimes you just don't know what's going to happen and it's good to be prepared. This tip has actually been paramount to my success in being able to continue to go out and travel all over the country and internationally because when you're out on the road, man, stuff happens and you've got to be ready for that. One of the things that happens is you get sick a lot. You get on these airplanes and you got people hacking and snotting. There was one time I was sitting next to some lady and she was well, we won't go there. You're sitting on those airplanes and all that air is getting recycled and you're breathing in all that nastiness and you're like, oh, I can't handle it. There have been so many times I've gotten off an airplane sick, uh, had a show and all of a sudden the night before I get just this terrible sinus infection. And so I've learned to prepare. If you look at my backpack, the front pouch, it's basically a pharmacy. You know, before I leave, I make sure that I've got vitamin C, aspirin, ibuprofen, airborne, all kinds of things that I might need just in case something happens. If you want to be the kind of person who's prepared for the expected and the unexpected, you got to be forward thinking. You've got to consider the things that may or may not happen on your journey today. For example, you may be hanging out in Starbucks, strike up a conversation with somebody, hit it off, and oh, just so that we can stay in touch and maybe build my business and my brand. Ooh, here is a card. I prepared. Why? Because before I left my house, I made sure my wallet was full of business cards. You never know when you're going to need one. When you take the initiative to prepare for life rather than letting it just happen and hoping for the best, you're going to find that it is an absolutely wonderful way to live. It's less stressful, less anxious. Growing up as a kid, I never prepared. I was always running around and scrambling in the morning trying to find my backpack, trying to find my homework, trying to figure out what I should have for breakfast. But becoming a more prepared individual means the night before, I lay out my clothes. The night before, I pack my lunch. The night before, I pack my backpack up and I set it by the door so that, hey, I know right where it is. I don't have to run around and scramble because I prepared. Let me close with this fun story. I'm at Target with my daughters, and we're loading up the cart full of all of this Lego. I mean, it's piled high. The kids are giggling and laughing, and we're picking out all this Lego for the Chalk Eye Lego drive. And this woman is just in awe of the amount of Lego that we're getting ready to purchase, and she asked, what, what's going on? And because I had prepared, I'd had all these cards stuffed in my wallet. I was able to pull a card out and say, here, if you're interested, check it out. Two days later, the same woman calls me up and says, I have got 100 pounds of used Lego. Can you guys use it? I think there's some value in being prepared. Hey, guys, as always, this is Ben Glenn. Love, peace, and hair grease. Reminding you to do one thing. Keep on building. God bless. See you in the next video.